the last thing I am going to show you for this um, kind of block of tutorials is how to add these images to your library, okay? And so let's just kind of pick up where we left off. So um, I created this, um, or I, I traced the outline of this um, sloper here, and I went ahead and did the other side as well. You don't need to see me do that twice, but, um, you know, um, so I've, I've, I've traced this, I've traced this, and now I want to save them. Um, so you can save them as an AI file always, or you could drag them over to a new file, okay? But I want to show you how to add this to your library so that you can really access it anytime, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, so I'm going to click on this and I'm going to shift click on this, okay? So select everything. You're going to right click and go to add to library, okay? Now you'll see this pops up and my little um, graphic is here. Now I can right click it and I can rename it if I want. Um, let's see. Well, let's try that again. Rename. Bodice 2. So just whatever you want to call it, something that's easy for you. Okay. Okay. So now that it's in your library, I'm going to show you what's so um, great about this and why this is a really helpful um, thing to do. So let's say I'm just going to kind of open and start a new file. Um, I'll just do 30 by 20 again create okay and let's say I want to start a project and I'm gonna start a new pattern but I know I'm gonna start with my um, simple bodice sloper okay all you have to do is go to your libraries you're gonna find so I'm gonna kind of scroll through some of the things I have just some um, I don't have a ton in here um, but I'm gonna click on the one that I want and just drag it okay and put it down okay so I'm gonna collapse this now I can kind of move this around so because this is in my library I can easily just pull it out and then from here, I can start, you know, if I wanted to add sleeves, if I wanted to, um, you know, play around with this, I totally can, okay? Now, the only thing is, if you do it this way, um, saving to your library, you've kind of, you've lost all of your anchor points and paths and things. It's almost treating this like an object, um, which isn't the best for every project, but it is a really helpful tool for um, starting projects and doing simple projects. So I hope this was helpful, and I'll be back with more tutorials soon. Bye.